You're listening to the Talk of the Tribe, the Wapsie Valley Warrior Podcast, brought to you by Little Wapsie Communications. Their state-of-the-art fiber network is complete in Fairbank, ready to serve your home or business with the fastest internet in town. Foreign Mutual Telephone Company. Serving the area since 1911, Foreign Mutual is a modern, independently owned telephone company providing internet and telephone services to Orin, Iowa, and the surrounding rural area. RTC Communications. They are here to provide high-quality, superior service to you, the customer, by offering great customer service and the services you want and need to work and stay connected with family and friends. This is the Talk of the Drive podcast, coming to you from the center of warrior country. Here are your hosts. Zach Favors, and Riker Oberly. Welcome in, everybody, to the Talk of the Tribe podcast, episode number 30. The Big Three Zero, Riker, we are back. It's good to upload this week. I'm tired, you're tired, we're all tired, but we're here. Yeah, it's the Steph Curry episode, number Steph 30. Curry. <laughs> Steph Curry It's going to be a fun time. As, as Colin and I always love to say, shoot or shoot, you know, so... Yep. Just got to keep shooting. <laughs> but uh, we're here, the Big 3-0. We have a lot to uh, to talk about today. And uh, it's going to be a fun but a busy episode. So, Riker, how have, you, how have you been the last few weeks? Not too bad, not too bad. It's, it's kind of boring. but I mean, basketball is going on. We have uh, the most wins in the whole school as a basketball team at the moment, so there's something to flex on. You know, not really a high bar, but it's okay. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> I know uh, we canceled. Just, yeah, canceled. Doug, get him out of here. We just started track. Um, I know, like uh, yesterday, right? Yeah, I yeah. started. I started track. Yes, I am in track. I know, hard to believe, but yes, I am in track. You're on hundreds and two hundreds, correct? Fat guys can do track. Don't worry, it makes <laughs> it, it happens. It happens all the time. Yeah. But um, you know, but you know, it, it's fun. The first day was it was a day, but t- today was a lot better. I felt a lot better today. So. And then we got we got archery coming up. State archery's in like two weeks. Don't you don't you do that? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. My girlfriend. I get it. Going, an, I have to support it. <laughs> it's an overlook sport. I have to support sport. it. It's one of those sports where it's like boring until you actually do it. Because when really? you do it, it's not that boring. But just sitting there watching it, it can get pretty boring. I I don't know how parents do that. Well, my dad just shows up with binoculars and looks at the target the whole time. Nice. I I could show up with like. A bunch of money, go to the concessions for an hour, and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> That's your idea of an archery tournament? Probably be my best can- case scenario. <laughs> Wopsy's starting up a trap shooting team, I hear. I did I did read that on the announcements. I am definitely going to talk to my dad about not doing archery and starting trap shooting, because I really what, want to do trap. For the viewers out there, what is trap shooting? So it's it's like a... Oh, there's my dad in my pickup trap. Anyways, <laughs> um, it's like you shoot skeets. With a mm-hmm. with a shotgun, and uh, it's it's kind of like an archery, but just with a shotgun. So Wii Sports, <laughs> Wii Sports. That is on Wii Sports. Oh my gosh. it's like duck shooting, but it's like Wii, Wii Sport. Sports version. No, it's just duck hunt, like the old yep. Nintendo duck game. Hunt. Yeah, yep. duck hunts, duck hunt, duck hunt, but with little skeets. Yeah. So, anyways, after that whole ramble, <laughs> Blake's gonna kill us. Uh <laughs> We are going to start off with some some state wrestling. We'll save the. We'll start with the good news. How about it? Uh, we had three wrestlers place at um, at state this year. We had a school record eight make it to the state tournament. Um, it was great. I'm starting to think my dad's going to get locked out, which is sad. But <laughs> <laughs> um, maybe he'll hear us because we have the window open in here. But anyways, um, we. We're able to send eight guys to the state tournament, and uh, we had a, a big turnout at districts. There was a lot of guys who placed third. Um, if those guys who placed third placed second, we would have had like 12 go, which would have been fantastic. It's almost our entire team. Um, it just it just sucks that Bosco exists. That's the only downside to that. <laughs> it's, it's just bad that Bosco exists. So, um, but... You know, going into the state tournament, Riker, your pick was that Caden Dana was going to win the state title. How did that turn out? Okay. Well, 
Oh my gosh. I, I remember we did that that morning, and then I went to class the next day and told him, I said, hey, Dana, Riker picked you to win the state title. He laughed. Really? Yeah. Hey. I don't know what you were thinking, man. That's a hot take. I wanted Dana to win. <laughs> Love Dana. I, what, who did I say? I say Decker. Uh, yeah, I think you did. Yeah. Which Decker placed, right? Yeah. Third. I think, well, I take that back. Um, I will look up on track wrestling where he plays because I have no idea. But anyways, like we said, we had three place winners. Those place winners were... Um, Kenny Decker, 157. <laughs> Drew Lansing, 190. 190 and then... Dare Nope. Nope. East and Crawl one fifty. You had it. You had it. You got two out of the three. I saw I saw Gadal's Instagram before. I knew two of the weights. <laughs> you got close. Don't worry. And those that and two eighty five are the only three weights that I know. What? One ninety one ninety, one fifty seven, one oh six, I know that. That's where Caden Belinsky wrestles at. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm no looking idea. at the brackets right now. To uh, track wrestling just takes forever. You just love track wrestling. So Decker, Decker made it to the semifinals. Got beat by uh, Kellen Smith from uh, from Brit uh, West Hancock. He ended up placing fifth. Decker did. He um, lost in the semifinals of the third place match, and then um, fell down to fifth, where he won uh, the fifth place match. Easton Crawl. Uh, place seventh, so that's good for him. And then finally, at one ninety, I believe Lansing placed um fifth. Wait, or sorry, he placed sixth. Sorry. So yes, so a fifth placer, a sixth placer, and a seventh placer. There you go, five, six, seven. How about it? <laughs> um, but anyways, I think it was overall great weekend. We had a lot of good, a uh, lot of good matches. We had a big crowd down there. In Des Moines, I know I wasn't down there. Unfortunately, I had to be up here um, to do schoolwork. <laughs> but um, I was not able to go down at all. Uh, I honestly should have went Saturday for the finals, but I didn't. I should have, but I didn't. Um, but we had a we had a big turnout uh, there. A lot of people go. Uh, obviously, our number one Warrior Wrestling fan, Chad Van Dale. I'm just putting the title on yeah. him because I know yeah. it's it's him. <laughs> um, he uh he was got featured on uh Giddall's Instagram page. He you see him cheering and whatnot. I mean, it's just overall good showing for uh for Wapsie Valley. Now their season is over. On to uh bigger, better things. Yeah, I mean Wapsie Valley it's it's always tough to see like any season really end, but I think they went Where's out. Where's he going? Oh my gosh. He got locked out of the doors. Continue, Riker. Continue. Yeah, it always sucks to have like end of season, but I mean, I think overall, not pretty good season. Pretty good season. We, we've had we've had a few better, but I mean, not overall nothing to be super ashamed about. Yeah. Alrighty, so we are going to move on to basketball. We're gonna start uh, with. Who do I want to start with? No, no, you can, you can choose. Okay, we'll start with the boys. Um. So the boys traveled to Dunkerton in a one versus eight. I was not there, Riker. Were you there? No. No. Okay. <laughs> I know Colin was, but I know I wasn't. Um, you want to look up on varsity bound score stats for me? I'll just sit here and talk about we it. We were both at musical rehearsal, correct? Yeah, I think we both were. Yeah. But um, <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, we were getting score updates. It didn't look too bad. Yeah, it didn't look that bad. No, I have to. I have a confession. Actually, it wasn't that bad. I have a confession to make. I falsely um, <laughs> lost hope. I should not have done that. I regret that. And I honestly, about halfway through, I started was like, "Ooh, we might actually win this thing." Ooh, let's go, let's go, let's go, because we were there. It's just, it's so rare to see a, uh, an an eight be a, be to one. But it, it's happened before. Case in point, twenty twenty. We're, uh, we are people who live in the past, and we look back to that 2020 season like it was yesterday, uh -huh. even though I never got to go because COVID had to ruin everything. I did. Yeah, I don't care. Um, <laughs> even though there was like only 100 people on, on each side there, it was like really loud. Well, that's I, good. I think they had like crowd noise over the speakers. 
which is kind of funny. But I mean, yeah, it, it was loud. I'm, I'm, sure I I'm, I'm laughing. If my dad would have waited two more minutes, Murphy would have let him in. <laughs> but anyways, um, you know, it was um, it was very good to see um, the boys show up that night because I I feel like it could have been really easy for them to kind of just let down and not really do anything. Um, but they were able to, uh, you know, show up, show out and, uh, and get it done. So, uh, uh, congrats to them on a, on a good season. Yeah. Um, well, it was, it was a rough, it was a long, rough season, but they got through it and they actually, you know, almost made some noise in the postseason. But anyways, continue. Sorry. Wapsy did eventually come up with the loss. Uh, final score was 55, 66. So 11 point loss. Only 11, yeah. which is. Not not too bad against that number one Dunkerton team. That Dunkerton is very Dunkerton nineteen very good. and four sitting at the moment. I think they are still yes they are because they beat Lisbon in the second round. Now they have Makokota Valley tonight actually at seven o'clock. Oh nice! So uh, if you can find it, I would watch it. That's Makokota like Valley and Dunkerton Raiders are nineteen and four. That'll be fun. There you go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so I think that's the boys' basketball talk. Anything else you want to speak of on that topic? Well, our athlete was Briggs Baby. Yeah, that, he honorable from, mention right? Gabe Matthias. Yeah, and Tanner Bergman. <laughs> and Tanner Bergman. But yeah, Zach, can go ahead and move to girls. All right. You and, know what? I'm. I need to make a petition. Petition, huh? Okay, here we go. I have a petition for um, every. I have a, I have a very important petition, and that is I think we should remove Denver, Don Bosco, and South Wind Chic off the face of the earth. Just get rid of them. Denver, who in South Wind? Don Bosco. Okay, yeah, I can agree. I think we should get rid of all of them because I'm sick and tired of losing to them. No, 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 no. It's not fun! It, it okay? They're 3-0 and all against us in the postseason. That's not fun! It should be Denver Union. Uh, Why Union? Denver we Union, Union. Don Bosco. They're all in our conference. What do you got against Union? <laughs> they're good. And they're huge. They are a 3A school. But they're not as big of a thorn in our side as South Winnesheek is. I don't care. I, I do not care. South one, you can stay just because you have the same name as us. What? No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. No. I will not allow this. You South Winnipeg needs to be removed from high school sports because the fact that they can beat us in literally everything is so annoying. It's frustrating. You know what? It's frustrating. Junior high beat him. You did? Yeah. Congrats. That does not show up on our record. Was it in the postseason? It was in the midseason. Yeah, not postseason. Um, you guys don't have a postseason. Um, anyways, um, we should. Maybe yeah. If, I, I think our junior high football team would have won three, two state titles. Yeah, just, just you know, just saying we were on feet of both years. Um, but anyways, uh, I think it's just. You have to look at it this way, and there was some bad things that happened right away, and that was Peyton Curley and Reagan Barnes both racking up two fouls in like the first five minutes. That did not help our cause at all. Like, it, there was one thing that we needed to stay out of; it was foul trouble. Um, you know, everything else was great. We were rebounding well. We were shooting better. You know, we were we were playing better defense. We weren't letting these stupid mistakes kind of get to us, except. For the fouls. That was the only yeah. thing that got to us. And it really cost us down the stretch because we had to take Reagan Barnes out for an extended period of time. We had to take Peyton Curley out for an extended period of time, which allowed Southwind to get back in the game. We were up by, what was it, 10? Enough. Yeah, enough. We'll put it that way, going into the fourth quarter. And they clawed their way back. And props to them because every single time Wapsie seems to shut the door, and then Southwind finds a way. We saw it in softball. We saw it in basketball. I don't know how baseball was. I don't really remember that game. I didn't watch it at all. But I remember we were broadcasting softball. Ellie Voy hit a home run in like the fifth inning. And we were like, this is it. It's over. It was, it was Taylor. but 
Taylor Brewer. That and El- 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 Ellie Voigt. They both had home runs. In the same game? Yeah. Mm. Maybe it was Taylor. Maybe it wasn't Taylor. Taylor hit one in the bottom seven. No, because they only play seven, dude. Oh. The, she, okay, bottom it was five. two more innings. So top, or top, bottom five. Yeah, bottom five. And, um. I'm so used to that being nine innings. <laughs> I hate this so much. <laughs> you know, I think, well, yeah. It's, oh, it was Taylor. It was Taylor. It, it was Taylor. Taylor. Bottom five and Left then. Left field squeaked over. It was oh, awesome. yeah. And we thought that would all, we thought that was it. We thought it shut Game the door. Game clincher. Game over. You know, play the play the game over theme music because it is over. And, and then, then in the seventh, and then the sixth and seventh inning, we had more errors and hits. We had yeah, we had a lot of defensive mistakes that plagued us. But anyways, anyway. not to remind people of that game at all. Um, back to basketball here. Um, and then you know, Southwind clawed their way back. They tied it up. We go to overtime, the first overtime game of the entire season, boys or girls. No matter what, the first OT game in a postseason game, and it really got away. We Reagan Barnes fouled out before overtime even started. Yeah. She couldn't. By the way, that needs to change. I feel like we should like every uh, everything else resets in overtime. Why can't we get like take two fouls off or something? Besides the score, the only yeah, the only thing that doesn't reset are score and timeout. That's it. Or not score and timeout. Score and fouls. Sorry, timeouts. You add an extra timeout. But anyways, like it's it's just it's frustrating. <laughs> and I bet it's even more frustrating for them. Like we're sitting here talking about it as fans and and broadcasters, but they're like actually playing the game. Okay. okay. While we're talking <laughs> like about foul trouble, Blake Borb, uh refereed our our basketball game against oh my you, against Jessup yesterday. That was the most fun. I've, I've like. Please tell me you gave him the most amount of crap possible. I mean, a- after, yeah. But here, the, the, I realized then, like we foul so much. The, okay. <laughs> okay. In way the to, first way qu- to phrase that. In the first half, me and Tate, our two big men, had three fouls each. Yikes! And then at at the end of the game, I had three. Tate had three. Dawson so had you didn't four. Brock a had four. Gage had three. Jeez. Everybody was getting fouls. You guys are uh, in trouble. <laughs> but we, we eventually won the game. There you go. Um, but well, they he, had a lot of fouls, too. Well, he um, he refed some of our, our football games, and uh, that was uh, a day. <laughs> he's side-judging, and I remember going back and looking at the tape, and he's just sprinting. <laughs> That's the worst thing for a ref, because I've ref football, too. You're just like big, long, like seventy-five yard touchdown run, and you gotta sprint the whole length of the field. Uh, <laughs> that's gotta stink. But um, anyways, I don't think um, I think that's gonna conclude our our main topics here today. I just got a text from Blake. Next week, our next episode will be a recap of FF, FFA week, FCCLA week. And then we will also have a musical preview followed by some interviews. So we'll have guests for the first time in a while. Um, we actually had uh, a guest show back up into the building yesterday for the first time in about a month. Oh. Yeah, Miss Redden's back. Miss Redden is back. <laughs> we we had rehearsal. Oh my god, our band. The band is in shambles. <laughs> the band for the first time in a month. and Shambles. Just, just shambles. Like Trust all me, I'm in band too. It shambles. Speeds. All uh, of us are going at different speeds. Yeah, <laughs> just playing different. You should show up. She's like, whoa, whole different songs, really. <laughs> um, but anyways, if there's one thing we're going to talk about from FFA this week, it's that uh, yeah, I won't be here tomorrow. We're recording this on a Tuesday. I have sub district contest tomorrow. Talked about it about 50 times. I'm doing creed speaking. Um, so. I'm off to Hawkeye Community College tomorrow for sub districts, which will be interesting. So hopefully I do well. We'll hope so. But uh, I think that's gonna be just about it for us. Yeah, I mean, and we're we're talking about a, a bunch of stuff next week, so get uh, looking forward to that. Forgot to give some shout outs real quick. I forgot. I always forget to do it at the beginning of the episode. Uh, the What Is Up podcast. What was Steven? He's done a fantastic job. He has merch. He's got a bunch of new episodes. Um, he recorded about five episodes while we recorded zero. 
Yeah. And we're a we're a weekly air quotations podcast. Something like that. Well, I think it, Christmas break got to us. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we have to take some breaks off of the holidays. And, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> and I'm still recovering from being half sick. Thank you, Riker, for that. Yep. Gosh, I shouldn't. We should not have recorded that podcast. It's just allergies. <laughs> It definitely was not allergies because I ended up getting it. It, it was, but I mean, say whatever. What you, you, you you said that you had allergies too. And I remember listening back when you have when you get sick in a week. I don't feel bad for you. Oh my gosh! I literally <laughs> said that. You know, it's fine. Whatever. Um, I'm so glad you brought that up because I just <laughs> I just I just got a four in critical thinking. <laughs> Back to the assignments. Yeah. All right, we're gonna get into our segments today. We do. N- we will not have an athlete of the week this week. We do not have any sports. This is the. This is kind no of the athletes dead time. that are playing. Yeah. We. This is kind of the dead period right now. We can do dodgeball. Athlete of dodgeball. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll do the athlete of the dodgeball tournament. We should have done that in our last episode when we actually talked about the dodgeball tournament. Yeah, I mean, but that's all that we have at this point. We'll talk. We'll do the athlete of the dodgeball tournament. By the way, uh, I may or may not be biased for that. So, is you? What it is. Yeah. You, you, you think you, that it, it's me? No, I'm kidding. It's, it's, it's not it's me. You. It's not me. It's it's not me. All but, right, you ready? What do you got? I have my screen time on Sunday, seven hours thirty minutes. Sunday? Yep. I thought today's Tuesday, dude. Do Monday. Yeah, I know. I just want to get the. I just want to get a month. I want to see how long you do it on weekends. You know. I do not want to know. Oh my gosh, it's terrible on weekends. Uh, eight hours and eighteen minutes on, on Sunday. On Saturday, February seventeenth, that's twelve hours eight eight minutes. Mine was nine hours and eight minutes on Saturday. Dang. But what was what was yours for yesterday? Yesterday, Monday. oh that's not bad. Four hours thirty minutes. Oh, you beat me. Five hours seven minutes. Mm. Um, but I I was watching the Daytona five hundred. By the way, that's shout out cool. William Byron. Where the don't Daytona like five hundred. Byron? Yeah, it, it, I don't like Cindric. <laughs> just, just because he drives. Let us be fifty year old. Just for a because second. he drives the number twenty four. Were you not a fan of Jeff Gordon? No, I hate that guy. I'm a Brad Keselowski guy. And oh my god, I cannot take this guy. I'm Brad Keselowski. Guy. He started a fight with him. I was like, I could beat up Jeff Gordon if I want to. He's like five eight and like. You could not pounds. beat up Jeff Gordon. I guarantee I could. Tony Stewart is the biggest like dude of all time. Tony Stewart is <laughs> a Tony dude. Stewart could win a fight. He could <laughs> MMA fight. All right, we're done talking about NASCAR. That's a thing for a different podcast. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, athlete of the dodgeball tournament. Okay, we have to let's write down some uh, people. Well, some let's people. just let's just, we'll just say we'll say three people each. All right. For me, um, I will respectfully choose nobody from the Beach Boys. Uh, sorry about it. You guys are the biggest complainers ever. Well, that leaves me to pick two people or just one person from the Beach Boys. No, don't do it because they I'm all lost. are complainers. I have, I have com- respect for that. I mean, they're in your grade. You guys all have beef with them. I like them. <laughs> I am going to give... Uh, I think it's unanimous who we should give it to. I don't think it's close. Now, there is an asterisk next to his name because of one controversy yeah. that he had. Yep. We are talking about Elijah Heasley-Ike, and the one controversy we have, and we have video proof that this man got out because he was the only person left on his team against about six or seven other people. He ended up going down and reaching down for a ball, got smoked in the kneecap, or kind of the shin area, and it bounced off, and it looked like it hit his it hit his shin. And from what our video said, and what our video was showing us, it looked like it hit his shin. But they called him in, or they called it safe. You know, he didn't get out. And then he went on to get like five people out, catch a ball, and then get the last person yeah. out to end it. Um, so I think that that performance alone solidified a a, a Hall of Fame resume for <laughs> for Elijah Heasley Ike. So shout out to him. He's our athlete of the dodgeball tournament, Riker. You got any anything? Whoa! You didn't even you didn't even let me you didn't even let me get my candidates. No, it's not. There's is no candidates. It's Elisha. He's the Ike. We at least uh, need to have honorable mentions. Okay, honorable mentions. We um, need to, we Garrett need to Miller. Win. Okay. <laughs> uh, no. And Tucker Latterbird. Yep. Tucker Latterbird's like MVP, bro. He won the tournament for him. He throws oh, so hard. 
hard. It's <laughs> it's unfathomable. That 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 is the sole reason I'm kind of glad we didn't make it to the finals because I did not want to get beamed in the face by that. That would have hurt. Like getting beamed, like getting hit in the face by Andrew Whaling did not hurt. It was not that bad. It was like okay, whatever. you got hit in the face. Yeah, I got I got hit in the face. It wasn't like it. I wasn't. I didn't get smoked in the face. I just got hit in the face. But anyway, it was a little poke. Just a little poke in the face. I hit somebody in the face. They still have a red mark, but I, <laughs> I, I won't mention her name just for neutral. <laughs> <laughs> so right, no. no, I'm just, I'm just. That's saying. my cousin, dude. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that, I could not get her out for the life of me. I, I felt so bad. I threw game. eight. I threw eight <laughs> pitches, whatever, at her. Pitches. Could not. Well, they looked like wild two seamers, dude. They were. <laughs> then I got the ball one time, smoked on the head, and then game over. Well, you could throw it straight as an air at all. Yeah. yeah. Mine were, like, curving back. Well, I mean... It was like a modified uh, arm, ha- or arm hand slider. My honorable mentions are Landon Moulds and Tucker Latimer. Mm. I get it, I get mm. it. Landon Moulds is on the beach, boys. I don't care. He's good. Fine. <laughs> Whatever. He's good at everything he puts his mind to. Still a complainer. Whatever. He I got out like four times in the game we played against them. So, also, I'd like to give a, a another honorable mention to Josh Lystico. Yes, <laughs> mainly because. Or how about the people on um, the dream team? No, 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 no. Greasy Josh Lystico, and shares. Josh Lystico didn't play one game, but he was the loudest one in the stands. Everyone likes Josh Lystico. Can we talk about Decker and the Sevies? <laughs> Decker and the Sevies, man. They called themselves skills that kills. Yeah, it killed them. Don't worry. Because uh, it was Sevies and Decker. That was that team. And Decker didn't really care. Um, Decker and then mobbed him up. For, yeah. And then for one game, it was uh, Sevies, Decker, and Wally. And yeah. Wally's pretty much a Sevy, So <laughs> Hey, look at, the, look at the sunset right now. That's kind of... That is pretty sweet. But, um, <laughs> oh my gosh. Stop it. <laughs> All right, sorry. Anyways, I think that's about enough for our episode. Riker's got to get going. I got to leave. We're all done and tired. And I think that's going to be all for us. One last shout out to our sponsors, Little Opsy Communications, Reason Telephone Cooperative, um, and Orin Mutual Telephone Company, along with the What Is Up podcast hosted by Fairbanks' very own Bubba Seaman. And until next time, Go Warriors! Warriors!